Hey guys, I'm back again and I am here to do a haul video. So it's been a minute, but I have been reading. So I'm coming to you with this haul video first. And then after I'm going to put up my September, August, September reading wrap up. So yeah, so let's get started. This is not going to be a long one. And yeah, I'm just going to talk about the books that I have acquired. I would say in the past three months, I've acquired these books. Uh, actually, let me just see. I would say the majority of them I acquired at the Festival America, which was the last weekend in September. And then there are two that I acquired a little bit after that. So let's get started. The first book I have here is by Joyce Maynard. It's called Count the Ways. Okay, now I had never heard of this author before and I discovered her at the Festival of America. So I decided to pick up two of her books. So I picked up this one and I picked up this second one, which is called To Die For. Now, this one I think is her latest book. And it basically says, Eleanor and Cam meet at, at a crafts fair in Vermont in the mid-1970s. She's an artist and writer. He makes wooden bowls. Within four years, they are parents to three children, two daughters and a red-headed son who's, who fills his pockets with rocks, plays the violin, and talks to God. To Eleanor, their New Hampshire farm provides everything she always wanted, summer nights watching Cam's softball, games, snow days by the fire, and the annual tradition of making paper boats and cork people to launch in the brook every spring. If Eleanor and Cam don't make love as often as they used to, they have something that matters more, their family. Then comes a terrible accident caused by Cam's negligence. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. So I was coerced uh, by one of the salespeople at Shakespeare and Co. who said this book was really, really good. So we're going to see. But this Joyce Maynard lady, she's like super popular. Uh, the French absolutely love her. The lines were super long to, to get her autograph. And not only that, I think some of her books have been made into movies. So uh, mm, maybe y'all know her. Let me know. So I picked this up to count the ways. And then the second one is this one called To Die For. Okay, now this one right here. Local weather reporter Suzanne Moretto craves nothing more than to transcend life as her suburban cable television news station and follow in the footsteps of her idol, Barbara Walters. When she concludes that her unglamorous husband is getting in the way of her dream of stardom, the solution seems obvious. Get rid of him. Okay, so I had to get it, okay? So she signed both of my books and she signed this one, Dee Dee, Never Kill Your Husband, Mon Avis. And so she signed it right there, which is really cool. So this is my new, new discovery author of the year, Joyce Maynard. We gonna see what she's like. Okay, next book that I picked up, and this was also at the festival, Crossroads by Jonathan Franson. I think you all have heard about this one. I decided to pick it up since I got a chance to meet him. He was very nice. Sign my book. I'll let you know how it is. All right. I'm not even going to bother to read it because you all have heard about it. Next book on the list is Jason Mott's Hell of a Book. Okay, now this one I hadn't planned on actually reading. But at the festival, I heard him talk about his book in one, in, in one of the mixed talks. It had, I think it was, uh, oof, I think it was Nathan Hill who wrote The Sweetness of Water, Jason Mott, and I want to say Ta-Nehisi Coates. I'm not sure. I think it was. And, and him talking about his book got me, my curiosity peaked. So I decided to pick it up and here it is, hell of a book. 
So this one, it says, what we do know about him is he's an author on tour for his new bestseller, Hell of a Book. And as people keep telling him, it's a hell of a book. Some of these people may or may not be real because he has, let's say, an overactive imagination. For example, only he can see the kid, a young black boy who may or may not be the young black boy on the news, the one who was shot by the police, the one who everyone is protesting about. Or he might be any of the others. He may be all of them or none of them. That may or may not be important. He may even be our author telling us this story. Hell of a book. How does it sound? I mean, it sounds like something I think is going to be fantastic. And then last of these books, which is because uh, these are all from the festival. He did f sign my book. I did get a chance to talk to him. He was a really nice person. And he signed here. Um, then I picked up this one, which is On the Rooftop by Margaret Wilkerson Sexton. And I read her book, The Revisioners. Mm, it was okay, The Revisioners. I didn't get a chance to read her first one, but I decided to pick this one up because I liked the, the sound of it. And it turns out she said in an interview that this is loosely based on Fiddler on the Roof. It's really funny because when I saw the rooftop, it made me think of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Yeah. And so I said, oh, that's really cool. And she explained about why uh, this idea came to her. It was thanks to her mother. So this one, it says Ruth... Esther and Chloe have been singing in harmony since before they could speak. Together they are the Salvations. Driven to success by their formidably ambitious mother, Vivian, they're soon the hottest jazz band in San Francisco. When the girls receive a once-in-a-lifetime offer from a renowned talent manager, Vivian knows this is the big break she has been praying for. She can see a different future for her girls, one that is a far cry from her childhood and racially segregated Louisiana. So this one came out just, I think, around mm, the beginning or middle September. I think it's the middle of September, maybe. And so I purchased this book at the festival. She was supposed to be there, but sadly, uh, she declined and couldn't come. So that's what we have here um, uh, on the rooftop. What I can't wait to pick this one up because I think it's going to be really interesting. And then my last two books are French books. The first one is Flaubert's uh, Un Coeur Simple. So it's a simple heart. So this is a really short ditty. And I'm looking forward to this one because it's just a little no novella about love. So Flaubert. And I picked up Belle Ami from Maupassant. Uh, this is another one that I've been dying to read and just haven't read yet. So Belle Ami. And as you can see, they were very cheap. Three euros, 50 and two euros. That's how it'd be here in France with the classics. So that's it. Let me know what you think about the books that I have presented today that I've recently purchased. Let me know if you've read any of them and let me know which one you think I should start with first. So many good books to read at the moment. So many good books. And I'll see you real soon with another video. Bye-bye.